Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import Shopify orders into QuickBooks Desktop using Z-Axis. Now, there are quite a few solutions out there for importing orders from Shopify into QuickBooks, but I'm going to tell you why Z-Axis is different. Z-Axis gives you more control. So a lot of these other solutions are automated and they'll just happen in the background. But many of our customers find that it's importing information in the wrong way and in the wrong format and into the wrong place. So with Z-Axis, because it's a process of downloading a file from Shopify and then manually uploading that into QuickBooks using Z-Axis, you get a lot more control over what is imported and how it's imported. So we support a wide range of different fields in different formats. So if you want to bring in custom fields, you want to be able to record inventory by site, you want to be able to record class tracking along with these transactions you download from Shopify, then that's all possible. Equally, um, we can filter what data is brought in. We can filter it so only fulfilled orders are brought in, not returns. We can manage those orders which are going to a certain location or need to be handled in certain different ways for tax reasons. Also, Z-Axis is sold as a one-time fee, not a monthly subscription that you have to pay for that data. So you only have to pay for Z-Axis once rather than having to pay every month for something you might be using a lot or you might be using a little. So let's go ahead and show you how Z-Axis imports files downloaded from Shopify into QuickBooks Desktop. So from in, within the administration area of Shopify, we're going to create some test orders that we can then use to download into QuickBooks. So I'm going to create an order here. Add some items. We're also going to add a discount to this so I can show you how the discounts be, can be applied into QuickBooks as well and add some shipping. Now, um, once we've saved that order, now we can go back into the order summary and we can see those orders that we've created. Now, these are the three that I'm going to download. You can obviously on download a lot more orders than that import into QuickBooks. So, once we're ready, we're going to select the orders that we want to download. So we'll mark them as fulfilled. Now we can go back into the import summary, the order summary, and we'll select export. So here you can select whether you want to download just the orders on the current page, um, all orders within your um, current panel there, or you can filter by date. So I'm just going to select current page and I'm going to say um, CSV for Excel and we'll export the orders. So the orders will be um, exported to your download folder. So you can see here these have been downloaded into, and are now available to be accessed from your desktop and we'll now switch to um, Z-axis to show how we can import those into QuickBooks. So we've downloaded the orders export from Shopify. Now we're going to go through the process of importing those into QuickBooks Enterprise using Z-Axis. So we open the company file that we're going to import the orders into and we'll open a copy of Z-Axis. So first off we make a connection. We click on the import tab and we're going to browse to the file that contains the orders that we're going to import into QuickBooks Online. So here's the CSV file and we click open. So once the file's been opened, you'll see the contents of that in this grid here. Now we're going to go through the process of mapping. So that is mapping the columns in the import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks. So we select add new mapping. We select the transaction type as sales receipt. And we go ahead and match the columns. So the customer 
reference full name goes against the billing company or individual's name. We then match the sales receipt, um, the date, and so on. So we're going through a process of matching up as many of these fields that we have relevant information for. The ones marked in yellow are mandatory, so those are the ones we're definitely going to need. So I've gone through and matched up all the fields that I know I have data for, know I'm going to need on the sales receipt. So the ones marked in yellow. So we've got primarily we've got the the name of the customer, we've got the sales receipt reference number, the date, the address, and we've got um, the item that we're selling, the quantity and the rate, as well as the shipping and the discount charge. Now there's lots of other additional fields that we can match and we can map. So you can bring additional information into QuickBooks that might be relevant once you have it inside QuickBooks. So there's lots of flexibility around using Z-axis and importing this data in. So once we've finished that, I'm going to give the mapping a name so that we can reuse it the next time we download a Shopify order file. And we click Save. What you'll notice is only the columns that we've mapped will now appear within this grid. So we can inspect. We can actually go ahead and edit some of this data if we need to before we go ahead and import that into QuickBooks. So you'll see here there's um, two rows on this sales receipt, two and then another three on this one. The next step is to just make sure we've configured the shopping cart fields. Now this is to cater for the way that charges for discounts and freight are constructed on the Shopify order. So they're normally put down at um, the footer of the order, whereas QuickBooks requires them to go in as extra rows or line items on the sales receipt. So what we need to do is we need to associate those two freight charge and discount amount with the corresponding items in QuickBooks. So I click on more options and I go into the tab marked shopping cart fields and I'm going to select the item name that we'll use in QuickBooks for those two. So if that one's going to be very simply, it's going to be freight and this one will be discount. Once I've finished, I click OK. So we're now ready to begin the import process into QuickBooks. So we'll click import. So the first step in the process is Access will validate all the data to make sure it's in the correct format for QuickBooks. And then we'll begin the process of importing those directly in. If there aren't customers already set up in QuickBooks or items, then Access will create those on the fly as well. So now the import is complete. You can see that those four sales have been, Shopify sales have been imported directly into QuickBooks desktop. So to view those, we just click on this view button here and Access will open that sales receipt as it appears directly in QuickBooks. So we can review that. We can then move to the next one and review it and so on. And there you can see the items that have been ordered plus the freight and the discount charge. Uh, another great feature within ZX is the ability to undo these orders individually or we can roll back. So we have got the option, if we don't like what's been imported, we can actually um, delete it and then reattempt the import again. So just giving you added flexibility and power when using Z-axis for the import process. So when we're ready, we can click close and that's very simply how you use Z-axis to import Shopify orders directly into QuickBooks Desktop.